See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? Uh, put a giant hole in the ground. Sure. Ah, that is not a hole in the ground, but... Okay, so now what about along the wall of the room? Ten stoves lined along the wall. I think we should light up this room a bit. A skylight! Let's open this up, baby. And a table. You need a table. And tables were invented in 1935. <laughs> uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. How do you know? So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Hello, please walk forward. This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. Follow the instructions carefully. Well, sorry. Whatever those were. No. First, click on this table. Good. Go over to the photo frame and something. Turn it slightly. Now turn off the floor lamp and then turn it back on. Hmm. I wonder if we don't do that. Whatever. Now go to the left side sofa. Move it over a little. Finally, touch the shelves. That's it! In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. What? You just don't get it, Stacy. We won't get it until he comes in and explains it to us. And he'll be like, this is blah 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 blah. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this, to see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created, and the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Alright, I like that part. I'm starting to be a little bit more open to this game. I think it might be it's just that the guy is really annoying me. I'm not sure. It's not, it's not him, though. It's the fact that he is narrating the whole thing like guiding you through everything and so it doesn't feel it's like a point and click adventure but if instead of like pointing and clicking and doing it on your own somebody like narrated and like directed you through the entire thing like that's really aggravating to me like what's the point of playing the game yourself you know what i mean maybe this is how some people feel when they watch let's plays <gasps> Oh, <no. laughs> I don't 
it's just not giving and me. And at the very end, he's like, and if you're Let's Playing this, fuck you! Now you know how it feels! I don't know. It, yeah, it's really aggravating that he's not leaving any spaces mm-hmm. to think. For interpretation. I think, you know what, maybe, I, you know, there's probably people out there who would really enjoy this because they enjoy stories. I think it's just that we like to actually, you know, be given some credit when we think instead of him being like, hello! So how is this, hold on, turn around for a second and just look around. So how is this the last version of the prison game if the prison is not actually in it? Well? What constitutes the prison game? What makes it the prison game? Because it's linear? Hey, he's not jumping in and telling us. Yeah. This feels good. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We could... Did you see that? I just had a thought. It was amazing. <laughs> it, was, it was an independent thought without some guy telling us what we should be thinking. It was really quite nice. We've got the lamppost. Hello? Who is this? Hey! It's me! I'm you from after you escaped prison. You're me? So you were trapped in the, this prison too? Yep, I was in the furniture it's a conversation. maze. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. That's where I am right now. Oh, I'm so glad to know that I got out eventually. What's it like to escape depression? Yeah. <laughs> um... It feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. Do you feel any different? Sometimes I'm scared. I'll just get out and then things will be exactly the same as before. I was not depressed. Sounds um, like depression. <laughs> no, I'm really the same person now as I was back then. Oh no, that's awful. That's the worst thing I can imagine. Don't worry, it's actually not a bad thing, I promise. The problem is that you don't actually know who you are right now. Wait, if you're me, then did did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? No, I'm the first person to call back. No, I think I'm the first person to call back. Then can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. What do I have to do? Yeah. To get out, you need to tell me how you feel right now. What? That will free me? How does that work? Just tell me how you feel. Just tell me how you feel. Okay. I feel afraid that nothing will ever change. Go on. Go on. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. I like this one. There's snow. And it's pretty. I hope he doesn't come in and tell us what snow means, because we would like to think of that on our own, thanks. This blanket looks really nice. Hold the bed. I won't let you. We just have to leave this place a mess then. Well, fuck it. Oh, it's a bath. Birds and shit. 
We have no reflection. Whoa. Clean. Well, my goodness. I'm glad as heck that you showed up. Though, I thought I might have to clean this entire house all by myself and right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make a lot of You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Are we cleaning this whole place? That's the story, little one. Oh, don't you worry now. We'll be through this mess in no time. I promise you'll wish there was more. Why don't I finish up here? In the meantime, could you please clear the table? Much nicer. That's the table I want to see. Now, would you please run into the bedroom and make the bed? Aha! We do make the bed. It's like the most important part to Stacy. Make the bed. Ah! Yay! Now, while you're here, why don't you straighten out the rug a bit? It's a little, all the little details matter. Uh, do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Well, I don't enjoy it so much as I need it. While I, I'm working to feel kind of bleh. While I'm working, I feel a kind of calm that rests with the foot of my ribcage. My soul can just be soothed any other way, it seems. Which, I guess, is about all that matters. Oh, that and a tidy couch. Would you straighten the pillows on the sofa out here? Those. Just don't match this place at all. That's, wow. Oh dear, it looks like some someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as over that. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over here. I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. Are you okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. No, it was stupid. Sorry. Never mind. Hey, the dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? That makes me very sad for some reason. Last I checked, the tub needed a cleaning. How about you scrub it down as best as you can? No need to be perfect. We're all just human. Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? If so, would you put them back on the shelf? Perfect. Now then, how about you come and clear these dishes After off the After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Are all, oh, sorry. Do these chores ever end? Darling, let me tell you something. Whatever work you do, you have to absolutely go to own it. Got to own it. Otherwise, it owns you. So why don't we be with the task at hand and leave the future chores to future you? I know that Koda really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Present you wants, wants to smooth out the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Trust me on this one. Tub has gotten rather dirty. Would you mind tidying it up? Earlier, when I said I had a really cheesy thought, I was going to say that it occurred to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. Don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. 
but there's a bit of truth in it, no? Anyway, so, housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Books, would you please clean up the books? Thanks. Endless chores. Oh goodness, those pillows over on the couch are I'm a real mess. Made this. I'm glad he found some peace. Can't have these folks coming home to a messy couch. Question. But, Do you enjoy of course, this? it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. <sighs> Can you let, like, we're trying to play the game and it'll go, and here's what it means. And I'm like, well, we're trying to play it, though. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. This one gets a bit goofy. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to be perfect. This workshop is Whoa. going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life, to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you, th who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you think, who do you know who is so well developed as a person they make you feel disgusted with yourself? Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful. I intend to make you that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is now, is not how do we do it, but how do we do About it halfway effortlessly. Through the, game, the perspective shifts. This is easy. It is so easy. It is so easy. Being perfect is effortless. <laughs> and you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. That's kind of cool. Okay, finally something interesting happens. I accept that he doesn't let me, like, figure this out on my own. It's really, like, really frustrating me. <laughs> yeah, how it's just spelled out, like, every, every single thing. Um... On the way to work, I told an elderly person to start contributing to society. Kids should not follow their dreams. <laughs> I still love you. It's just that you make me feel cold on the inside. Can I not jump or anything? jump button is not mapped to the controller, but anyway, drinking is not hurting my life. Thank goodness all of you perceive me as being wise and intelligent. X. Do you understand that you won't be happy until you love me? This is for you. That's <laughs> so creepy. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Oh my. Anyone want to do some ecstasy after this? <laughs> this guy seems like he's already tripping a little bit, though. I mean, oh. I think this is supposed to be a symbol. Like, oh, yeah, I know how to be perfect, except that I, you know, I'm constantly except ah! Yes. Yeah. What if I'm not a good teacher? Oh, wait. Holy shit, you guys. Something like back in the room. It's coming for you! It's going to destroy you! 
fell pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I enjoy I think about this game a lot these days. I enjoy the messages of the games. It's just that sometimes I would like to, you know, hear the message. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. I just wish that he would let us, you know, think. Or at least let Coda speak for himself. Yeah. I think that's one of the reasons really bothering me. Yeah. That, like, even if he made up Coda, he's not letting Coda speak for himself within the game that he's trying to speak. Yeah. So it's like, it's, oh, yeah. I see. So it's kind of like he's coming in. It would be like. Even if he made Coda up. Yeah. The thing that annoys me is that Coda, the person who exists or does not exist, made these games with a message, and he gave the message in a specific way, but then his friend, who's doing him a nice a nice thing by exposing people to his work, is just saying it instead of letting him speak for himself. Mm -hmm. That's what annoys me. Or maybe that's the point of the game. I don't know. It's like, tricked you. You thought I was annoying. But really, I was annoying on purpose. Yeah. Well, it's like whether he's whether his message is that... <laughs> oh, God. That scared me. All right. The performance is beginning. Places, please. Go ahead. Whether his message is that, like, we would all want to just, like, come to conclusions on our own or let Coda speak for himself, I think... Either way, the message is clear. That he wants to talk and have us listen to him talk. Yeah, that <laughs> he just wants us to pay to hear him speak. This is what I feel like, that I paid money to listen to a guy have a video game lecture. Yeah, that's what this is. Oh, wait, no. Stacy said that earlier, and then yes. I accidentally repeated what she said just yeah, now. Yeah, so I was saying earlier that this is like, we're in a video game lecture. Like, if we, we went to college and then went to class and this guy was like, this is what everything means. And you're like, all right, cool. This is symbolism. I'm going to tell you what symbols are and everything about them. And you don't get to think about it for yourself. And if you're going to be like, oh, that's what you guys do on the Geek Remix channel. I'm like, well, I didn't make you pay me to do that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't make you pay me to do that. And I do that. And you have, you have the option to, like, come here. We thought we were going to play a video game. But we're not. There. What? We are at, oh, in this scene, you will be playing me. We are at a gathering of professionals. First, you'll, so, oh, good, stay right there. The woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Hello. Hello? That's it? That's not a conversation. You need to actually converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. Wise. Happy. Focused. Successful. Yay, I'm a failure. Here are all my hopes and dreams. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feeling of the setting. There were a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again. You must have worked really hard to get where you are. You're messing it all up again. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you, do you not realize how important that was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Something. Hmm, I want to try something. 
Try stepping back from the stage. I'm looking, I'm noticing the difference yeah. in graphic quality, that's all. Oh good, we're in a prison again. Social anxiety prisons! Okay, yes, now this is working. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. <laughs>